Harry Kane breaks another record. Liverpool's crazy victory. How did the players react after the game? Manchester City's super transfer. All of this and more in today's episode. Hey everyone, welcome to our roundup of the top football news. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you've already subscribed, let's get started. Roma have officially sacked De Rossi as head coach. The Roman management decided to prematurely end their cooperation with the 41-year-old specialist due to unsatisfactory results. The decision was made in the interests of the team to be able to return to the desired path as soon as possible when the season is just beginning, the club said in a statement. Rossi took charge of Roma in January 2024. Last season, the team finished sixth in the Serie A table, and in the current season, after four rounds, they are 16th, having earned and three points. Bayern Munich's Harry Kane scored four goals to become England's top scorer in Champions League or European Cup history in a demolition of Dinamo Zagreb. The match ended with an incredible score of 9-2. This is the joint second-highest scoring Champions League game ever, level with Monaco's 8-3 win over Deportivo La Coruna in 2003. The record remains Borussia Dortmund's 8-4 win over Legia Warsaw in 2016. I keep all the balls after hat-tricks. The lads might be sick of signing them, but keep them coming. My son Louis, he loves playing football right now. I'll take it home and put it next to his bed, and he'll be happy when he wakes up in the morning," said Harry Kane. Liverpool secured an incredible 3-1 victory over Milan at the San Siro. Some comments from the match participants. Milan striker Alvaro Morata, we started the game well, although it was not easy against such a great Liverpool, probably one of the best teams in Europe right now. I don't know how, but we need to switch, otherwise the situation will become really difficult. It was just the first match. I hope it will teach us that at this level, you need to be 100% focused on every detail, because that's what matters in the Champions League," said Morata. Liverpool captain Virgil van Dijk, we all know what Jürgen meant for the club and what he brought to the City and the Premier League. The new manager has his ideas, but I don't think too many changes. We all enjoy it. We had an amazing time with Jurgen Klopp, and hopefully we can have an amazing time for Arne Slot as well. Real Madrid defeated Stuttgart 3-1 at the Santiago Bernabeu in the first round of the Champions League, and there were several significant events in this match. Endrick became Real Madrid's youngest Champions League goalscorer. At 18 years and 58 days, the Brazilian broke the record set by club legend Raul in 1995. Carlo Ancelotti about the young Real Madrid forward. Endrick has a gift. He has something special. He has courage, quality. His shooting ability is something special. I was sure he was going to score even in short time, few minutes. He's special. Also, Kylian Mbappe scored his first goal in the Champions League in a Real Madrid shirt. The French striker commented on his team's victory. It was a great evening. We wanted to start with a victory. It was a tough match, but the Champions League is always difficult. The Champions League has changed, and it's important to win to see if we can go through quickly or not. With each game, I feel better, and now I'm scoring goals. I'm happy here. When you play for Real, you have to win all the titles. In every game, we try to win, and when you wear this badge, you have to win," said Mbappe. Marseille have announced the signing of central midfielder Adrien Rabiot. It is reported that the contract is for two seasons. The 29-year-old player played for Juventus last season, leaving as a free agent. In the summer, Marseille signed a new coach, Roberto De Zerbi, and it was the Italian specialist who convinced Rabiot to join Marseille. Man City are well placed to sign Bayern Munich star Jamal Musiala amid interest from Europe's top clubs, reports Football Insider. The English champions and manager Pep Guardiola are long-term admirers of the attacking midfielder, who will not be short of admirers if he decides to leave the Allianz Arena. Sources say City could spend big to land the superstar after banking a huge profit in the most recent summer window. Musiala has less than two years to run on his Bayern deal and has so far refused renewal over overtures from the German giants. Transfermarkt values Musiala at £110 million. Bayern director Abel said about Musiala's future, new deal for Musiala, it will be difficult but not impossible. Jamal knows what he has in Bayern, 
It's the club that took him to top level. Talks are already underway and will now be intensified. Jamal should be the face of Bayern. Musiala commented on his future. I am happy at Bayern and fully focused on the current goals of the club and the national team. Honestly, I don't think about where I will be in five years. In the world of football, everything can change quickly, said Jamal. That's it for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Keep watching for more football action and have a wonderful day.